four problem number two for stresses in beams so determine the minimum height h of the beam shown in figure p-508 if the flexural stress is not to exceed 20 megapascal so ayan so sabi, determine daw natin yung minimum height h so base ng uh, beam natin is 80 mm and yung height is unknown so, must not exceed 20 megapascal. So, dapat yung bending stress daw or flexural stress must not exceed 20 megapascal. So, ayan. So, formula for bending stress. So, FB is equivalent to MC divided by I. Where M is the maximum moment and C is the centroid of the section and I is the moment of inertia. So, moment, so wala tayong value. C, so C is simply H divided by 2 for rectangle. And I is the moment of inertia, BH cube divided by 12. So, ayan. So, to determine for the maximum moment for the beam shown, so, gawa muna tayo ng shear and moment diagram. So, ayan. So, for the shear diagram, so, determine mo na natin yung forces or reaction. So, kita pa ba? Kita pa. So, summation of moment. So, summation of moment at R1 equivalent to 0. So, kunin mo na natin yung R2. Ayan na ito. R1 equals to 0. So, lahat is papuntahin natin sa R1. So, 5 kN. So, kung ito is 2 meters, then ito is 3 meters. So, yung natitira, distance is 1 meter. So, ayan. So, 5 kN times 1 meter. Then, ano pa yung lahat ng downward? So, itong part muna na ito. Plus 2.5 times itong total length, which is 3 times centroid, 1.5 minus, so minus itong part na to, since nasa left side sya, so yung ikot nya is counterclockwise, so minus 2.5 times 1, times 0 0.5 minus, R2 natin times 3, equivalent to 0, so inan yung ating value for R2 so wala yung cycle natin kaya ano man lang tayo uh, manual calcio so 5 times 1 so 2.5 times 3 times 1.5 so ito 11.25 yan and ito is 5 and ito 2.5 times 0 0.5 is 1.25 then next so 5 plus 11.25 minus 1.25 is 15 so divided by 3 so 15 divided by 3 equivalent to 5 kilonewtons so r2 is equivalent to 5 kilonewtons then next so r1 so to determine for the value of r1 so summation of forces vertical na tayo equivalent to 0 so r1 plus r2 minus 2.5 times 4 minus 5 equivalent to 0 Ayan, so R1 natin is equivalent to So 2.5 times 4 Is 10 Negative 10 Minus 5 Negative 10 minus 5 is negative 15 Plus 5 So R1 natin is equivalent to 10 kilonewtons So ayan <coughs> Ayan, minano na to Since R2 natin, diba, is 5 So Positive 5 minus 10 minus 5 is negative 10. Then, transpose nyo sa amin na. So, equivalent to positive 10 kilonewtons. So, ayan. So, draw na natin shear and moment diagram. So, ayan. For the shear diagram, so, dito muna tayo sa support R1. So, 2.5 times 1. So, equivalent to 
negative 2.5 since downward naman yan. Then next, so negative 2.5 plus tayo ng reaction plus 10 so positive 7.5 tama? So ayan. So since ito is 0 degree then magiging first degree then next <coughs> so 7.5 na so positive 7.5 Minus tayo, minus 2.5 times 3. So, 2.5 times 3, 2.5 times 3 is 7.5. Or dito muna pala, dapat. Kasi may load pa pala tayo dito. Ayan. So, 7.5 minus, 2.5 times 1 is 2.5. So, 7.5 minus 2.5. So, value natin is... 5. Or, mali pala. Positive 5 pala dapat. Ang hirap pag walang cycle. Ah. <coughs> positive 5. So, ayan. Positive 5. Positive 5. So, ayan. Then, next, since may downward load tayo na negative 5, so, minus 5, is equivalent to 0. Tama? So, 0 na yan. Then, next. <coughs> so, next. So, 0. Tama ba? 2.5. Tignan natin. 2.5 times 1. Negative 2.5 plus 10. 7.5. So, 7.5 minus 2.5 is 5 then 5 minus 5 is 0 then sunod sunod na then negative uh, sunod nandito na tayo na so 2.5 times 2 so 2.5 times 2 is 5 diba so negative 2.5 since downward yan times 2 is negative 5 then plus natin reaction which is 5 so, equivalent to 0. So, ito na yung ating shear diagram. So, next, determine natin or identify natin kung meron ba tayong 0 shear. So, based from the diagram, so, ang 0 shear natin, so, is manggagaling sa mga uniformly distributed load. So, wala naman, no? Since ito, nakatutok naman siya sa concentrated load of 5. So, wala tayong zero shear. So, mas mababadali yung ating buhay. Ah, sorry. Galaw. <coughs> the next. So, ayan. Gawin ko muna. So, draw na tayo ng moment diagram. So, for the moment diagram, so, for the moment diagram, so, ayan. Moment diagram. <coughs> So, by parts ulit. So, at R1, then, next, at R2. So, kahit hindi na dito, since wala naman zero shear dyan. So, at R1, so, ganito na, simple yan. So, 2.5 times 1 times centroid, 0 0.5. So, ilan yan? 2.5 times 1 times 0 0.5. So, value natin is negative 1.25. So, since ito is uh, decreasing, so, ibig sabihin, malungkot yung ating ito drawing. So, ito, negative 1.25. So, check nyo na lang sa diagram kung bakit malungkot yun. So, para hindi na natin ulit-ulitin. Then, next. Then, next. So, punta naman tayo sa... Uh, sana ba tayo? So, punta naman tayo dito sa uh, 5 kN concentrated load check natin kung ilan yung moment doon so summation of moment at kasha po ba dito ay kasha ba saan ba pwede ito na lang summation of moment at 5 kN load so pupuntahin natin lahat doon so R1 muna ilan yung value R1 so 10 times 1 since 1 lang naman yung distance nya diba from 5 kN minus so, minus. Paikot na yan. Itong buong 4 meters. Minus 
times 4, ito yun, di ba? Times centroid is 2. Equivalent to, so 10 times 1 is 10, negative 2.5 times 4 times 2 is negative 20, negative 20, then sunod, nasaan na ba? Negative 20, so 2.5, times 4 times 2 <coughs> 20 so ito r1 natin is 10 r1 is 10 times 1 10 minus 20 is equivalent to negative 10 kilo newton per meter so ayan negative 10 kilo newton per meter aha uh -huh di ata mali ata mali 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 ito lang pala dapat so 2.5 mali ako ng tingin so ito pala ang 3 meters distance between support so 2.5 times ito lang dapat 2 meter so ito 1 meter kasi ito diba may kita ba ba 1 meter kasi ito diba then ito 1 meter din yan so total is 2 times centroid 1. So, ilan yung ating moment at 5 kilo newton? F moment at 5, 2.5 times 2 times 1 is 5. So, 10 minus 5, 5 kilo newton. So, since decreasing yan, so malungkot pa rin yan. So, 5 kilo newton per meter. Then next, since may support sa R2, so pag nag-moment tayo at R2, automatic yan, 0 na yung value natin dyan. So, yan. So, it means, our maximum moment, maximum moment is equivalent to 5 kN per meter. So, solve natin. So, FB is equivalent to M. Or yung FB natin, di ba? FB is equivalent to MC divided by I. So, FB natin is equivalent to Face of problem, ilan daw? 20 MPa. So, 20 MPa equivalent to M. So, M natin equivalent to 5 kN per meter times natin sa 1,000 para maging newtons since ito is newton mm squared times c so c is equivalent to h divided by 2 and i so i natin is b b 80 mm h cube divided by 12 so ilan yung ating value for h <coughs> Ilan value natin for H? H. So, check mo yun natin. Newton per mm squared. Then, kilonewton per meter. So, ito, millimeter. So, dapat squared pala ito. So, H value. So, H value natin is equivalent to 0 0.5 by H. H value. Ilan yun? 137. Mm. So, ito na yung value natin for the height. 137 mm. So, ibig sabihin, pag nag-138 mm yan, or gumamit tayo ng uh, 140 mm, so, ibig sabihin, merong chance na mag-fail yung uh, ating uh, ating material. Ayan. So that's all for problem number 2. 137M.